Hello, everybody. Welcome to this special edition of Nonstop Tech. I am your host, Doc Rock. And I'm Jerome. What's up? <laughs> Jerome. Yeah, no, I, didn't know what to say. <laughs> I, I like when you say that. It's cool. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> check it out. So by the time you watch this, iOS 5 should be ready to download and ready to install. Hopefully. No, it should be. But <laughs> what we want to do is make sure that we give you a couple of heads up before you do this to make your process as smooth and seamless as possible. Secret that we kind of kept for you up until now is Jerome and I are both ex-genies. We're still geniuses, but we just don't work for <laughs> Apple anymore. So we've done this a thousand times. So when I say trust me, I mean trust me. I can honestly say I've had to help upgrade at least a couple thousand phones. Jeez. Yeah, there's I, been so many I mean, people coming through. Yeah. So anyway, now that you got the brief history, here's what you need to know. The first thing you should do, plug your phone into your computer using your sync cable. Now, a smart podcaster would have had the cable here on the table, but anyway, plug the phone into your computer by SYN cable, open up iTunes. When iTunes open, you're going to see the name of your device. It's going to say John Doe's iPhone or, you know, Hello Kitty, whatever you named your phone. It's going to show you that, and you're going to see the picture of your iPhone or statistics sort of right next to it. Right click on the word in the device list and go down to transfer purchases. Now, depending on how often you sync your phone, which you should be syncing every day. Yeah, every day. Um, it will take a couple of minutes to take anything you've recently purchased, be it apps, music, TV shows, music videos, whatever. It's going to copy all of that stuff to your computer. So go ahead and let that happen first. Fast forward, right? <laughs> now, the next thing you want to do, right click on it again, bring it down to backup and go ahead and back up your phone. Now, we're gonna back it up again, but this is just a safety. Your backup should take 10 minutes, maybe faster, again, depending on how often you back your phone. And it depends on how much information you have on there too. If right. you have like a whole bunch of video and all the other stuff, it might take a little while. Yeah, theoretically, what happens when you run the backup is Apple only changes the Delta. I mean, only updates the Delta or what has changed in your phone from the last time. But, you know, I know a lot of people that own this phone and they tell me they never plug it to their I've computer. I've had that too. And you look at it, they're like still on three point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, crazy. Good that. news is once we take care of this, you're not going to have to deal with that anymore because in iOS 5, you're going to be good to go. Now, fair warning. If you have an older phone, don't even bother with it. Just let it be or go buy yourself an iPhone 4S. Okay. Now, once your backup is done, we're not done yet. We're going to give you a couple examples. So... You got photos in there. The photos, something everybody wants to you know, save. So let me show you how to do this. If you have a PC, open up, plug your phone in, go to my computer. You'll see your phone listed in the list of drives. Right click on it, go down to explore. In explore, you're gonna see all the images on your phone. Select them, you also get movies too. Select them all and press copy. Make a new folder somewhere on your desktop and press paste. If you're not familiar with that method, just open the two windows side by side and just drag them from the first window to the second. And that will take all the images off your phone and move them to your computer. Now, I won't delete them, but you'll have a nice, safe backup. A little easier on the Mac. So on the Mac, you pretty much, you're going to use a little tool called Image Capture. And you can either go into the Applications folder and then there's Utilities folder and it's inside there. Or what you can do is I'd recommend um, go on the top right. You know, you have that little looking glass. Little, uh, Magnifying mag glass? They call it looking glass. What are you, glass. a pirate? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <Rawr. laughs> the little, oh, my God. The little magnifying glass. Um, click on that. Just type in image. It should be the first hit that comes up. Image capture. Yeah. And then just start that up. Um, and you can, what you can, the cool thing you do on there is you can actually delete photos off of there, too. But um, what you want to do is once you start it up, um, make sure your, your iPhone is going to show up in there on the left side in devices. And then you can actually import the photos either into like iPhoto, Aperture, Lightroom, or, whatever you got. Yeah, whatever you have. Or you can just put it like on a folder on a desktop. Yeah, for this case, instead of even bothering with iPhoto or anything, I normally just send it to a folder. That's so I'm sure I have it. Once it's in the folder, you can copy stuff in the iPhoto. That's true. Actually, I don't use iPhoto. I use Aperture because, you know, professional photographer type. Um, so, yeah, make sure you get your images off your phone. Now, the cool thing about image capture is, yeah, you can go ahead and delete. If you want to make your upgrade easier, delete all the old photos, movies, TV shows off. 
Okay, so um, once you have that stuff safe on your computer, again, now here comes the hard part. Open up iTunes, Mac or PC, doesn't matter. Open up iTunes and click on in the left side towards the top, you'll see where it says applications. Or it actually says apps, right? Yeah, it says apps on there. Okay, My, uh, click on apps. Here comes the hard part. If you haven't launched that application in the last three months, you're probably not going to launch it later. So what I want you to do is be absolutely honest with yourself <laughs> and go in and delete. Holy crap, Jerome. Yeah. I have 390 some odd apps. But on my actual <laughs> phone, I maybe only have 100. And on my iPad, I maybe only have 30. Um, because I am very diligent about what I put in and put out. Now, because I pay for a lot of these apps, I don't delete them because I just feel like I have a hard time deleting apps I pay for. But truthfully, if you can get rid of them, just get rid of them. And you can always re-download them as long as they're yeah. still in the app store. Now you can iCloud. re-download them. Yeah. Yes. Well, apps you could always re-download. Right. It's just usually music. And, but yeah, just back to the app. So. so the reason why we want to take out as much stuff as possible now is so that when you either upgrade your old phone or you get your new phone, it's like moving into a new house and leaving, just picking up your mess as it is now and dropping in your new house. This is your opportunity to start out fresh. House cleaning. Yeah, house cleaning. Only bring in the things you absolutely, absolutely need. And another thing you can do is if you click on your device in a device list in iTunes, you can look at the tabs across the top and move over to where it says apps. In apps, you can actually drag and drop things and organize your folders. Um, I'll probably need to do a, a, a feature video on this later, but just for today, for right now, just try to take out all the apps you don't need. The reason why we want you to get your phone as streamlined as possible is the less stuff that your phone has to update when you do this upgrade, the smoother the upgrade will be. Then you can add things as needed. The other thing is, a lot of apps on day one, which will be tomorrow, aren't going to be ready for iOS 5 anyway. Uh, if you've done updates recently and you remember your major guys are good, but the smaller developers, it just takes them a while. So if you can, just leave everything out and put in what you need as you need it. The cool news is, once we do all of this today, from now on, you're never going to really have to plug your cable in to do your updates on your phone or even sync. They're all going to sync wirelessly. So this is your preparation for what we've all prayed for from day <laughs> one, wireless sync. Oh, can't wait for that to come out. Right? So. Okay, last thing we need to make sure you got safe before we do this is your contacts and calendars. This is where people go crazy, okay? Now, I'm a MobileMe user, which is now going to be called an iCloud user, and so we have a way to do it. Okay, it's sort of all built in. Um, tomorrow, or actually iCloud's coming out tomorrow, most of you guys are going to be able to back up. But prior to tomorrow, if you have a Mac, this is easy. Go into iTunes, and when you have your phone plugged in, where you see the icon of your phone, next to it, there's a thing that says info, and you can check the box that says synchronize your address book, and it will take the stuff off your phone and download it to your computer. Now, on the PC, it uses Outlook Express or Believe mail it's mail they, or mail on the newer versions that actually flies around inside really it from our call. Yeah. so you can sync it that way too but just make sure you have it synced some kind of way you could actually set it to sync to google if you're okay with that i kind of google's messy for me so i didn't really do it that way it has issues with the way it organizes the names right so so your updates shouldn't mess up your contacts and from tomorrow you're going to be able to sync them with iCloud which is a whole different story we'll do a full video on iCloud once it's ready and we can talk about it of course, by the time you see this, my NDA will be over. I've been using iOS 5 and iCloud for months. It's sweet. So we'll have a full video on that later. But we wanted to get you prepared. And the last thing is calendar. Just sync it up to Google Calendar. Yeah. That's the best way to that, do that's it. That's going to be the best Hands way. down, sync it up to Google Calendar. Um, it's super easy to do. You basically check your box in, inside your um iTunes and it will sync everything or in your phone you can just go into settings and tell it you want to sync to Google Calendar and your calendar will be magic. If you don't use your calendar, hey, you lucked out. <laughs> um, I think that should do it. We got your photos. Your music is going to be your music. You don't really have to worry about that. We got rid of a bunch of apps and we synced your contacts and calendars. Hopefully you got everything backed up. Now, once you've cleaned your phone out, 
and it's ready and pristine. Before you do the update, plug it back into iTunes again, right click on it, and run the backup one more time. Because now you'll have a small version of your backup. The first one was in case we screwed anything up <laughs> while we're cleaning it out. The second one is going to back up your phone while it's streamlined and nice and smooth. Right? Less issues down the road. Less issues down the road. And, you know, honestly, I like to start my new updates out with a full restore, which takes the phone completely blank. And I manually move in music and movies, podcasts, and applications as needed. But if you're afraid tomorrow to do that, instead of hitting the restore button, just hit the update button. You will be able to do restore because you have backed up the phone. So worst case scenario, you can put everything back. That's true. And so that's it. Again, back it up. Make sure you get all your photos and stuff out. If you have any questions, I'm going to be online pretty much all night. <laughs> so drop me a tweet at Doc Rock on Twitter or hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Doc Rock. Or you can send an email to doc at nonstop honolulu.com. What about you? For myself, you can get me at, at Jerome Kohler. Doc, yeah, I was going to say dot com. That's pretty bad, man. <laughs> Holy crap. At Jerome um, Kohler on Twitter. Yeah, Jerome Kohler on Twitter. Or you can catch me on Facebook. It's just um, facebook.com slash jerome.kohler. So. Cool. I hope this helps. I hope we save a bunch of you from screwing up your phone. Again, if you have any questions, leave us a comment, and we'll do our best to get them answered for you. And uh, be ready for another show tomorrow talking about iOS 5. And, you know, we're doing an oh, after can't show. Wait. And also we're going to have another one coming up to teach you how to get yourself ready for moving over to a new phone. Most of this does apply, but if there's anything that comes up, We'll do a follow-up later. We'll do a follow-up on the iPhone 4S also. Because cool. I know a lot of people wondering about that too. I'm not getting one. Oh, yeah, you are. You know you are. It's going to be like a day and you're like, I need to get one. So <laughs> sad. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps out. Don't forget to leave a comment. See you again on Nonstop Tech.